these two being considered the lowest tier versus uh, one of the higher tiers. I'm not sure what uh, advantages DDD has at the moment. Which I haven't seen him under any there's in the so it's still a lot to decide on what he can do. And already got quite the damage. Already. We're getting quite, but yeah, that's right. Uh, Camel Clip does really well against uh, Ursula in some cases, if not for JD. But uh, that's usually DDD's best move. Now it seems pretty even for the most part. We missed it. It's gonna be, yeah, that's game. We actually kind of lock him in that dodge. Can't really do much against the hammer spins if the dodge is red. And with DD's uh, giant damage, I just left. She needs to uh, out the hang. So, first game goes to Pangaritan. Mitsu's still going Wrestler. Pangaritan's still going DDD. And now it's time for the second in game. Well, Lurk is pretty good uh, with his characters. Not sure if he went hammer or beam. Probably one or the other. I haven't really seen him play Magalore too much. Like, I haven't seen him play Magalore at all. Third Gears in Ben's Factory. Another grab. Neck and neck. Food. And that's that game. Oh, that's not game. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> that is game. Yeah, but he, he spaced pretty well. He just, just rushed in too quickly for Pengir to over. He just overwhelmed him there. Wrestler does really well with Russians. Uh, like once they get in, they just get in. I guess that kind of makes sense that those are like the standards. Those are kind of like standard stages for them because the simplest stages kind of just 
have like all that represent all the like particular stages of battles. A flat platform and like a mix of both. Wrestler does really good off the top. On top of Springy Handland, Wrestler has a big advantage. DDD DDD has gotten up on the top, but he doesn't really capitalize on that enough because he got gobbled. Yes, that's quite a bit of that. Oh wow! He did, go for, he did not go for another. He tried to go for a hammer flip. That is a really laggy move for DDD. He really only has to run away. But you guys didn't predict it. He didn't predict a run and grab. And now he's now he's probably gonna gonna lose the match because of that. Wow. He tried to go for uh, a quick drop kick instead to bait, but uh, and Garrison already had him unlocked with that puff. And the bait, the, he was trying to bait the hammer flip usage, but uh, he was a bit too early on the drop in. Yeah, Pan and Garrison 2 1, Shuni 2. They're going in training. Right. One so far. Gularex uh, fighting someone else at the moment. Uh, oh, nothing much. Versus Shinichi, and however, loses that uh, faces off against Strish and losers. Now they're ready to battle. Garrison gets a good mid air hammer spin already. Another one. Uh, Shinichi and Sig both for Agawa, which isn't pretty useful considering wrestler's arsenal command grab. He gets a command grab anyway, 40 damage right off. That does quite a bit of knockback on shield. I do not know like that. I think Garrison gonna have to. Oh, there's a grab. That's it. That was definitely going to kill. Uh, usually wrestlers a grab kill uh, at 30 and 40, 30 and 40 damage respectively. So yeah, that was gonna kill. Uh, two all. This is the last game. This game of the uh, last game of the set. Whoever wins this goes to top 16. Whoever doesn't goes to losers, and then they just all stand from there. Have okay connections so far. Uh, yeah, last match of uh, this set. Yeah, all right. Uh, anyway, last set of uh, second round, round two, and they're going. Uh, two by two, but it doesn't really capitalize on it. it does get to capitalize on that uh, lag after the hammer spin. And, uh, it's caught by another one. Wow, that is... His headbutt is doing really well against those hammer spins. He has mad priority versus this. Most of the rest of the user have mad priority over it. He grab a force because it's in the air. Oh, he, he definitely, he just got baited in by that, and it's in. 